Okay, good morning. Welcome to ABC 103 Trivia. Today is December 7, 2023. It's three minutes before the open. We'll take a look at the futures today. So, I was getting emails saying, you know, what's the, what's the easiest way to day trade? Well, there's, <laughs> there's not one real easy way to day trade, but if you want to work your way slowly uh, to become a consistent trader, you can look for longer, larger time frames or shorter time frames. The issue is, is if you're just starting out on the risk reward, what you have to do is you can go on micros or if you want to do a really quick scalp, uh, you can do the majors, but you, you want to get the timing correct. So what I'm doing here as an example is, is when the market opens, we'll probably wait five minutes after the market open and then we'll probably put in the trade. It all depends how everything's running. So what I'm going to show you here is we'll just do our, our my regular analysis. I'm going to move, hopefully if this one doesn't hide, it doesn't matter anyways. So as you can see, we have an order block up here. We're just crossing the phase and you can tell it's a bullish run, okay? So for the NASDAQ side, it looks like everything wants to go to uh, to, to the main side. And then also, while we're doing that, actually I'll bring it back. It doesn't lock up on me. Yeah, a few seconds before they open. Uh, it's also aggressive on, on the on the, on the four or eight hour chart, I don't know which one it is. As you can see, she's pushing up here. So what we know is we know that we have support resistance on this level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small region just somewhere right around there. So we know she can pop up, go down, or maybe continue up. But we, we have some high numbers here and a high number here on the 16,000 level, if it goes that direction. Well, what we're gonna do now, since we have kind of a bias that on the NASDAQ side is kind of bullish, what we wanna do is when the market opens, we'll see if it crashes or goes up, but we're gonna look at these three charts here. See the resistance number four? We know we have resistance here. If she blasts it through, then we might be able to might be able to uh, take the long trade. But right now, what we want to know is we're going to watch on a one-second chart to see if it just does a major reversal. Looks like it is, but they might be selling for the bounce up. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the other two charts. Of but these are all uh, the indices, so we've got the YM. See if we can break the level four level. And then we've got the Brussels 2000. We're also gonna take a look at what direction is the buy is supposed to be. So it looks like this was supposed to be technically an uptrend. This one was an explosive uptrend, but it's see how it reversed on, on uh, the marking and, and also the Russell. What this is, is uh, I wrote this a long time ago for the one check in, second chart. And so what this is, is, is the very first minute, this is the very first minute range. And what we're doing is we're looking at it now it's set. So basically, we're, we're all the, the, the buying and sell us delta biases to see which direction it's going to pop up on. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using an old, old indicator as well. You can see it's a strong bias going up. That's on the YM. Also, possibly a bias up going on the RTY, which moves much slower. An easier way to, uh, let's say, to enter a trade. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch these candles. This is a 15 minute chart, a little bit longer. You know we had a really explosive up move, up move here. Let's open this up a little bit more. We've got about four more minutes before we might be able to take a trade. The only thing I don't like about the YM and also the Russell at this point in time is we're kind of like right in the center of, of what everything is happening. The only one I, I actually do like is, is the R4 on the NASDAQ. Because if we break out of here, we might have a possibility to uh, get into a trade. And you can sell, she's all starting to turn up here. So let's just wait. I want to wait a couple more minutes to see if the bias is going. Because if it does, if we're at the 50 level on the quarter, maybe we can get to 75, 16,000 when we're done. So we'll just give it some time because right now this 50 stuff is happening and then what else I'll do is I'll look at just to see if the buying and selling is going crazy so they're just fine so you can see it hitting new highs just just in a, a pop and we know it, it should go up but right after the 50 we'll know 
because 50 sometimes does a negative reaction. We'll look about, uh, we're gonna wait a few more minutes here. We're only in the second minute in the trade, so we're just gonna let them shake up all the buying and selling bias. Let's see, as you can see, it looks like they hit stop volume right in this zone here, close to the 900 level. So this is basically what happened in the first minute. We went down how many points, close to the 900 level, and then bounced back up. Then we're gonna let them fight. Now what's happening on the, on the YM side is, you can see, we have to break the four level. This is the one I'm interested in. But these two here, these are right on the line, right on the line. Also what we can also, or what we can do as well, we can check uh, where their actual volume point of control is. So we know we have possible region here if it goes back. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna remove all drawing objects. Boom. So let's go, let's create it again. We know it was, oops, control three again. And, oops, that's okay. So we have one area, just for fun. Second area, down here. Third area, down here. So we know the volume point of controls are in those three sections. So what we can do is just blow them up really quickly to see if we're really close in that area. Uh, so, oh, that's a micro inch and this is major. I would have to change that later. So basically it says uh, 15857. So what I'll do, uh, right here, no, that's 97, and I said 847, so somewhere right, somewhere right around here is where that zone was, if it did actually a major reversal. Now, what you can see, uh, we'll wait, we'll wait. This thing is creeping up slowly. I just want to wait till the fifth minute to see what happens. It looks like she's taken off. I would like to see one more nice pullback. We know we have a grouping right here. So what we can do is, because we are in a one second chart, we can see if there's gonna be a strong snapback within this zone. If it snaps and bounces, we can take the buy in. Here it comes. So we can go buy bid, get ready. Let's see if she does one or two steps. We'll also look at this zone here. Just trying to pop 68. Let him get a deeper retracement. I'll put on buy market, just getting ready. I might be wrong. Let's see if we can get down to, you know, this area, maybe open market, and see if she bounces down. But remember, there's a lot of volume right in this zone here. This is where they fought to break through. So if you're gonna try to punch it again, you can see we haven't broke the resistance floor level. So we have to wait and see. We're back at a 50, the quarter. And if she turns around again, we can go for it. We're at six minute mark. Okay. Order filled. There. Now let's go for it and see if we can get a maybe 100 or $200. And then you can say you're done for the day. So let's see if we can fire up. 60, 70, 80, come on. Don't play around, pop it at 75. See if we can get her. I'll try one more time. Because we are we still have a, a move movement going up. They have some resistance here, but we'll try to see if it goes a little farther down. If not, we can try it again. And I can do a buy bid on this level here, so I might pull one more buy market. We'll find out what happens here. What's the squeeze? Are we at R4? We are R4. Let me push up one more time. Come on, one more time. We're right in that squeeze zone. And YM is going down, so I can sell market on YM quickly. Order filled. This will hopefully bounce up one more time. We're right on that, that sweet spot. 
so that I can fire back up. We can probably get back our losses really quickly. They fire it up really quickly and just restart again. See, we're already at zero. That's how fast it moves. 75, 90, 80, 90, 1, 110. Let's see if she breaks through that second zone. There's our 200 there. there. And on the other one, we did really, we, I did have 20 bucks there. So Order there. build. And we're done. And so basically we wrapped up. Let me move it here. $215 uh, within this video. It's still probably still popped up. See how it hits the second one. The beautiful thing about doing on a one second chart, I was trying to take the early entry, see where the bottleneck is. And with, um, how do you say it? Oh, I am still crashing. But the nice thing is, is because I'm looking at three charts, I'm looking at the energies and seeing if we can break through. Usually when it breaks, what I'm finding out is uh, with this one, the indicators I'm using, this one's called EFAN, E-P-H-A-N. So I've noticed it many times if it can break uh, a resistance four level, we could possibly have a runner for the day, but you can always get to another location. Uh, it will many times on the third can reverse, but they can bounce three to four, four to three, three to two, and you can get caught and trapped. So I, I try to stay away. My favorite trade is always, if it's breaking R4, and today R4 was on the NASDAQ, and you can see on the one second chart here, what you will notice many times is, once it hits on one second, you can see where the vibration is. See, they're trying to break, trying to break, trying to break, come down second attempt and then you get your double ladder and then it just hit this one perfectly and then she popped. So, and if we go, if we take, uh, let me see here. This one, uh, there's my mouse. Let me just put it to local. Where she, oops, where she, um, if we look to the left, trade the right, basically where she popped, was uh, just before market opened, but the resistance was at this point here. And now she does it again. So she explodes, hits a stop, comes back down. She's breaking down, breaking down, seeing if she's gonna be pointing through these areas, and then we're good to go. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me at abc123trader. Just make sure you pinpoint your trades, trade safe, and have a good day. Bye.